Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we're going to explore uh, generally the field of anthropology, namely the two classification of it, which are general anthropology and applied anthropology. The subfields initially emerged in the Western society as an attempt to understand the non-Western people. So it started with the Western society uh, in the pursuit of understanding the non-Western people. So the Europeans were actually busy traveling all over the world. And then they have came across the natives in America, the native people of Africa and Arab, in Arab area as well as the Asian okay and they note okay these European travelers recorded their physical appearances like for example how you know there's a slight bigger nose among the Arab uh, okay the, the darkest skin tonality among the African okay or a unique shape of eyes among the Asian okay so they took note of that the, the differences of physical appearances their customs okay so different uh, regions of the people that they have visited uh, they notice that you know uh, different regions have uh, different kind of customs uh, like Native American they wear certain kind of hats okay they do you know face painting and etc and they also note the beliefs that that they actually have uh, of these native people then by 19th century uh, anthropology has then developed into a discipline for understanding non-western society so that came in that's how they came into being whereby these europeans they travel and you know all, all these places that they travel okay uh, among uh, those places of non-western society uh, they try to figure out basic questions of human diversity after you know that amount of travel okay and uh, however but today uh, it is not solely focused on non-western society so western society are also included in today's uh, uh, exploration under anthropology now looking at the development of anthropology just now how you know from traveling to observation of different communities okay uh, yielded you know a different focus of anthropology from okay non-western uh, communities to also include western communities as well uh, in the subject of anthropology and then anthropological knowledge actually grow from there Okay, so grow from there and then somehow it is being categorized under uh, general anthropology which refers to academic uh, venture lah, uh, meaning to say that they are sub-components of anthropology as well as uh, practicing part whereby we call it applied anthropology meaning to say how anthropology is used in different fields okay uh, they are more practical in nature lah. so general anthropology aims to uh, understand better uh, the field itself and the subfield itself while applied anthropology uh, the main uh, concern is uh, to make use of anthropological knowledge in different fields in life to solve problems to add value to your life and etc so this is much more on adding value to the life okay and solving problem but general anthropology is more towards understanding deeper about the field okay and about the content of anthropology itself okay so this is much more academic in nature and this is much more of uh, applied or soft problem in nature now these are among the subfields under the, uh, the, uh, the the two major classification of anthropology so under general an anthropology you have biological cultural linguistic and archaeological anthropology so if you actually look into it these are like different components of anthropology like different perspective of anthropology on the other hand for applied anthropology you have forensic Okay, medical and cultural resources management okay so if you look here uh, you know it this is actually uh, focusing on how using okay uh, anthropology in particular field to help solve problem okay like forensic anthropology you use anthropological knowledge to uh, identify deceased people okay uh, to identify when people die for example by looking at their bones or by looking at their uh, bodies for example they want to identify what caused the death for example so that's the use of anthropology in solving 
criminal case okay for example medical anthropology for example generally means uh, using anthropological knowledge to understand uh, okay uh, the, the the health uh, per caring system in different communities and to form okay a better health policy and etc while cultural resources management is a particular field aimed to uh, uh, restore or aim to uh, how do I say this? Uh, uh, aim to protect. Uh, okay, aim to protect resources. Okay, that actually give information about culture. Culture. Okay, so if you don't have we if we don't have this field, sometimes you know culture can just you know, uh, you know disintegrate. Culture can just be forgotten if there is no particular field that aim and dedicate themselves to protect all these cultural resources or artifacts in particular. So if you can actually see here, uh, you know this particular fields okay in applied anthropology is the use of anthropology, okay in uh upper, in solving problem whatever society problem there is and uh, general anthropology is more towards you know understanding the feel of anthropology itself in different perspective